Hey guys, so I got a request to do um, a little bit of for a little bit of information uh, about my HEPA filter. Um, it's a two foot by three foot HEPA. Uh, it's actually the HEPA itself is only about this deep. Um, I'll put a link as to the exact name of this HEPA and possibly where you can get it. HEPA filters are a little bit f hello. <laughs> HEPA filters are a little bit funny uh, to source. You can't exactly go on the website to buy them directly. You usually have to inquire and order them via a sales rep. Uh, there is one on eBay you can get. I can't vouch for the authenticity of it or like how good it is, but it's a H14, whatever that means, and I think this is a H14 or a H13, so it's probably to do with the filter size. Uh, on top we've got a blower fan. This is a 580 watt. Um, again, I can't remember the name. What I'll do is I'll put a link to the name below and possibly where you can get one uh, again I, I can't vouch for its um, origins too much because I actually bought this and this along with this potentiometer uh, separately uh, sorry separately second hand um, the uh, guy that used it before me was using it for microscopy Micros using it for his microscope but it was disturbing, uh, the vibrations were too much, so it was disturbing his slides. Um, let me just fire it up. I'll give you a quick demo of what it does. There is not a consistent blow, giggity, um, across the heifer itself. So you see, what we've got to do to overcome like the initial inertia is fire it up like 20 uh, sort of like 10% or whatever and then we can fire it all the way up So the blow uh, isn't consistent across the whole HEPA because all this is is a bit of air being blown into a box and so there's no nozzle guide vanes, there's nothing directing the flow of air, it's just it's just following the uh, the contours of the box and so in order to overcome that you'd probably have to like, you'd have to mess around with sort of like air fluid motion and that sort of stuff and, and frankly it's overkill, I've not had any contamination as a consequence of this, it's always been because of my working practices and, and whatnot. So it's good. Uh, what you do with the potentiometer is, when you're working with it, you dial the potentiometer back. So you know I know roughly where to set it now. The first few times, I use my uh, anemone, anemone, Okay, okay. I use that thing to. Um, uh, to gauge the airflow because you only really need it a hundred foot uh, per minute across the filter grate and that way it is high enough to keep the uh, to keep clean air coming in and minimize any drop-ins wow I've done a bad job explaining of that um, but essentially what's going to happen over time is this is going to fill up and bung up and so as it does all I'm going to do is increase the power to you know uh, to whatever it needs to be and then by the time that it's at full whack and the filter's blocked I'll know the filter's spent and I can get a new one. Pre-filter wise, uh, I've ummed and ahed about it, it canes the performance, like it, it absolutely canes the performance of the filter to like a third of its capacity so I have to run it on max to get the same baseline airflow as I would uh, without the filter if that makes sense. So. What I'm going to do about that is not use a pre-filter because I've not had any troubles and frankly this um, this shed's pretty pretty tidy, there's not really many, you know, there's not any traffic really, there's no dust generated by humans or anything, so I don't know. I'm, I might put the pre-filters uh, pre on. All I've done 
is just literally get in there you with a pre-filter it's got a little cage it used to be he used to run it with a pre-filter and I just put it over the sorry I got loads of rubbish in the way I just put it over the inlet like that and uh, suction pulls it tight so you don't have to fix it so if I ever feel like doing it then I can do it like that so that's about it I'll put everything in the description in the I'll put everything you need or you might need to know to start your HEPA journey in the description as to where you can get all this stuff. Um, if you've got any more questions or you want, to sh want me to show you anything else in my wonderful little shed. All this lark growing in there, that door's heavy. Then yeah, drop me a comment and I'll, I'll do my best to answer. So, bye. Whatever, I can't get my screen capture to work, so I'm just going to use this. Basically, um, this is my HEPA filter that I actually designed before I built it. I always uh, build things in SketchUp before I build them in real life because it saves making a lot of errors. Um, what we've got here are five pieces of wood, five panels. This one's obviously the front, uh, the front plate here. This is the HEPA, this is the box, and this is the back. This is where the fan goes on. Um, all this is is 9mm... I used MDF, I suppose you can use any kind of wood to be honest, and uh, they're just secured with, um, I haven't actually made any yet, but they're just secured with these little, uh, what do you call them, these uh, blocking, the, you know, these these blocks like this, you know, they're like that, and then they got one like that, and then that kind of just disappears so they look like that and you then what you do is you just screw them in like that but yeah um they're secured with that all around uh, and that's about it to be honest the actual measurements here i don't know if you want to pause the screen or not and just have a look it'll probably be different for your uh hepper and there's something to take note of that around most heppers what they've got here is about a, a two centimeter gasket um that, that runs around the, uh, the perimeter of it so you have to make the faceplate go over the gasket otherwise the air coming out just it just seeps around the side of the HEPA rather than being pushed through so that's a bit of bonus content for you sorry I couldn't get my screen capture to work I'd, I don't really use it very often so it's a little bit out of date probably so yeah that's that I hope that's helped